Whoa! Looks nice! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> now she's crying. She's crying, you pervs! She has tears! <laughs> So today we are building the Lamy R2. This is the redesign from the R1, designed by Fuyu. Main vendor is going to be Kibo. US vendor is going to be Mikibo. It is a F13 TKL. Here's a front. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have the engraved weight, and then you also have the character engraved on the top. Cute. The top and bottom bezels are going to be thicker than the side bezels. This is the baby blue edition. This is anodized. Here's the side. So you do see the seam right here. This typing angle is 9 degrees and the front height is 18.5. Here's the back. The weight also has a very delicate flower engraving. Looks like lilies. So very, very delicate, very subtle. You have the four feet. Looks like they are adhesive. You can see the USB port is going to be on the right hand side. And then in terms of case screws, you're going to have the four on top and then the four on bottom. Okay, this is a heavy board by the way. And then here is the USB port side. Let's use a daughter board. As you can see, it's a right hand USB port. And then here you have the front lip. Neat. This front height is 18.5, but if you look at the seam, the seam is actually going to be a little lower, so the top piece covers a bit more. So you see this bottom piece, it's just like a small sliver right here, instead of like the seam being in the middle. Here you can see like a little bit of the bottom piece, but then it gets a little bit bigger right here. And then if you look at the seam on the back, it's kind of similar. It's not quite like even in the sense of like the seam is exactly in the middle. This top part is going to be a little bigger. It looks more even up here than it does like down here. But this is not an issue. I'm just pointing out like how the seam fits into the case. So let's go ahead and open this board up. So in terms of how many units there will be, Kibo has 80 of the baby blue and silver, 10 special edition. Mikibo has 50 of the anodized and then 10 of the special edition. So both have 10 of the special editions. The case is going to either be alu if you get the regular, and the SE is going to be a dyed blue PC. In terms of plates that you get, you have alu, PC, or polypropylene. The the weight, in case you guys are wondering, is sandblasted stainless steel. This does use tap hole or o-ring mount. So here is the top piece. So let's look at where the mounting points are. So you're gonna have four on top, one, two, three, four, and then three on the bottom, one, two, three. Yeah, for the tap holes, yeah. There's not really much else to point out here. Okay, so most of the heft of the board actually comes from this bottom piece. But here you can see the o-ring mounting points. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. You can see this little knob right here. This is actually anchor points to align the top and bottom case. So you have one, two, three, four. And then these screws right here are the case screws. The cable is going to be underneath this weight that will take apart as well. So this is just one giant piece. So you have this top piece, you have this bottom case piece, and then you have this weight, which is this absolute unit. So two screws to keep it in place. You see the two engravings. This is the weight where most of the heft is. Here is the channel for the daughter board cable. So three engravings total on the weight itself. So four total on the entire keyboard, but three on the weight. One, two, three. I really like this one. This weighs three pounds, 15.5 ounces. If you do not read it, mean, it's 1.80. <laughs> so most of the heft is definitely from right here. Sometimes the daughter board is on the actual weight itself, but this one is on the bottom case and then it's not fully hidden by the weight. Instead, you do have a channel to kind of give it some room while it's like exposed. That means you don't need to take this weight off ever. 
you can just take off the top piece and then you can unscrew it directly from right here. I do have the alu plates. So you can see the top holes, four and then the three. Pretty standard plate. These are very thin. <laughs> Not an issue, but just something to point out. There are no flex cuts. Okay, so here's the PCB. Hi, me. <gasps> Honey PCB. So there's a lot on this PCB, but the plate doesn't support it. So for example, see, you can do the split back space, but the plate actually doesn't support it. This is a fixed layout for the most part. So I guess that is something to note. So you won't be making any mistakes like, oh, if this is going to be winky or winky list because it's actually blocked out on the plate and then you can't split anything. It looks like the biggest thing you could do is step to regular caps lock, but everything else is fixed. <laughs> but the PCB is a little misleading, so don't be misled by it. This PCB is nice because it actually does label, so 7U 6.25. Since the keyboard is winkyless, you're forced into the 7U layout. Yeah, you can do step to regular caps lock with the indicators. So yeah, just don't be confused by the PCB because it offers you like a bunch of different layouts, but you're fixed. And well, then here's the back, physical reset button, and then the JST cable. There are LEDs. These little tiny doodahs. So if you happen to get the SE edition, you do have a choice for RGB. There's no perky unless you want to solder it on yourself, but there is going to be underglow. Yeah, nice high knee. Although earlier I saw my back, and I saw muscles and I was like, damn, we need to get back muscles. I have to tell my trainer, he's going to be so proud. <laughs> I feel like back muscles is like something you don't ever really look at. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I actually have back muscles now. Congrats on the gains, thanks. Sometimes it's hard to like see, but. Okay, so let's talk about it. So this is the Lamy. This is the R2 F13 wind keyless. You have the nice little engraving right here. And then you can see the F13 key. So this is one of three colors. This one is the baby blue, but they'll have a silver. So those two colors are going to be the regular. There's a special edition and that one is a blue PC board. Here is where you can see the tap holes. So the cable is relatively short. So when you're deconstructing it, just be sure, be aware of that. These screws right here, 
are for the case. These little anchor points are for alignment tabs for the top and bottom case. And there are no grooves on the bottom case for the tab poles. Instead, the tab pole mounting points are found on the top case. But staying with the bottom case, you have the five up here and then the three down here. And then going on to the top case, here you can see these holes and that's meant for the tadpoles. I think the raffle is in August. So the sale format is going to be a raffle and it's to be released on the Discord. They said TBD, but I think the Discord said August. So if you're interested, I would recommend joining either Kibu or the Kibo. So here's the pricing. If you convert it, it's actually around 492 for the normal and then 531 for the special so you get to pick the plate you want and then it will come with 88 and 68 tables and then an o-ring and then here's one note is that the alu plate for the sc units will be silver anodized so that you don't see like the black plate you'll see a silver plate so that's a good touch so if you're interested would recommend joining the discord and then as for my thoughts I think it's a very pretty board and if I were entering for it, I would go for the blue PC because you rarely see blue PC boards. The baby blue anodize is pretty nice too, but I would go for the blue PC. I think in terms of sound, I feel like I should have gotten different switches with the alu plate and the mounting. I think with this build, it ended up sounding a little bit weak, but of course, for those who like, like the sound and like how these switches are, I think general consensus was like, it was okay, but in terms of typing feel, I'd say the ADA Duro Tapples was my favorite. If it's consistent with like the other switches, at least for this build, the mods are stronger than the alphas. But like I said, could have just been the build I did and I'm, I'm probably very biased, right? <laughs> but that's it because I think it's very pretty, okay? I'm a sucker for these like blue boards. But yeah, that's the build. Thank you, Mikibo. Thank you for you. Thank you for sending it out to me. It's a very pretty board.